This is the Jail Ministry Podcast. The J-A-I-L, or Jesus Acts and Inmates Lives Ministry, is Christ-centered and provides programs focused on the prevention and intervention for the incarcerated. Jail Ministry also provides support to offenders, criminal justice professionals, victims, and their families. Thank you for your continued financial assistance. For more information, visit jailmen.org. Now, here's today's lesson. And good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Good to be with you one more time. Evangelist Eric Walton with you from Jail Ministry in Belton, Texas. Go ahead and take your Bibles and turn to Matthew 25. Uh, the title of the message is Good Investing. Good Investing or Wise Investing, whichever one you want to use, but I used good. And uh, we're going to be in Matthew 25, starting at verse 14 to verse 30. And uh, it's the parable of the talents. The parable of the talents, Jesus himself is speaking here. It's all the word of God, but Jesus is speaking himself here. And he's telling this everyday story that everybody will understand, but it has a spiritual meaning to it. And the spiritual meaning, only those who want to follow Jesus will get. Only those who want to know what the spiritual mean, they will get. You know, and, and uh, uh, back over in uh, uh, chapter 13, he says, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. And what he's talking about, he who has spiritual ears, let him hear the deeper meaning of the story. So let's start at verse 14 to 19. We'll read those, have a word of prayer, and then we'll get to our text and message for today. For the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling to a far country who called his own servants and delivered his goods to them. And to one he gave five talents, and to another two, and to another one, to each according to his own ability. And immediately he went on a journey. Then he who had received the five talents went and traded with them and made another five talents. And likewise, he who had to receive the two gained two more also. Verse 18. But he who had received the one went and dug in the ground and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants came and settled accounts with them. Let's have a word of prayer. Father, thank you for your mercy and grace. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for the blood. I ask your anointing on the message. Please touch the hearts and lives of the men and women listening to this message. And uh, let us, if we're unsaved, get saved. Let us, if we're already saved, uh, get more dedicated and get more diligent about the things of Christ. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the church, the Holy Spirit, the Bible. And as I said, dear Lord, anoint my lips. Let me just say that which needs to be said. Thank you for jail ministry. Let us see greater days ahead than behind. In Christ Jesus' name, amen. So uh, go with me, if you would, to verse 14. For the kingdom of heaven is like. Now, when you see that, first off, we're not talking about the economy of the human people on earth. We're talking about God's economy in heaven. For the kingdom of heaven is like. That word is like. You'll see something like that in three different versions in the book of Revelations. He's telling you, I'm not talking, uh, 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 excuse me, this thing literally, I'm talking about something is like. So I'm using it as a metaphor, as a mimic and that sort of thing. So he said, the kingdom of heaven, the economy that I will be running the earth by during the thousand year reigns, the economy in heaven is like a man traveling to a far country. Jesus traveled to a far country and went back to heaven. Amen. And then now he's going to come back and all of us who are saved, the servants he's talking about here, notice it's his servants, not Satan's servants, not the world's servants, not the guy down the street, his servants, his own servants. All right. And uh, uh, he went and, and, and he's going to come back and he's going to uh, uh, reward them. Excuse me, uh, I don't want to get the rewards right now. That's in chapter 20. He, he's going to uh, uh, bless them based on what they did with the talents that he gave him here. Now, the literal meaning of the word talents, and this is why everybody understood the, 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 the message or the, uh, the parable. The unsaved and the saved people both understood the surface meaning of it. But the deeper meaning only the Christians understood. The surface meaning of the word talent is like a, a gold bar or a silver bar or a certain amount of monetary value. 
Jesus is talking about, you know what, like the talents that he gives us, not, not to be a preacher. Let's say God called you to be a ditch digger. Let's say he called you to be a construction worker or whatever. He wants you to be the best one there is, and you witness for him under that. And people say, man, you really know how to do that. Yep, the Lord blessed me to know how to do this so well. Amen. Uh, uh, whether it's that or a butcher or, or a truck driver or, or a surgeon or whatever. Amen. And it's, it's, it's talents, though, to use to the glory and honor of God. Amen. Now, I don't want to get too much into what it is. Now, for me, obviously, it's ministry, but I don't want y'all to think talents is only talking about people doing uh, uh, ministry. All right. It's talking about all kinds of things that God has given us to do. You know, um, um, and I'm not trying to embarrass the guy who's taping this thing. He knows how to do radio and TV or radio very well. And then during COVID, he learned how to get this streaming thing going. Somebody told him about it. And with his other knowledge from radio, he learned how to do it. And now we're reaching a whole lot of guys and gals. We have this means since y'all got tablets to reach y'all with this stuff this way. Um, sometimes he's telling me about it. In fact, I told him that right when I said, man, some of this stuff is complicated, you know. And I'm talking about the stuff he's doing to get away. And he goes, oh, well, not really. He says, yeah, but not really, you know. Why? Because God just made him that way. He knows how to do that thing. Amen. He knows how to do it. And thank God for it. Amen. So the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling into a far country who called his own servants. Remember the Pharisees and the scribes, they're monitoring Jesus to see if they say anything that they might be able to accuse him and then try to kill him. Because remember when they did finally arrest him, they could find no witnesses that had agreed to actually find. Pilate told him three times, I find no fault in him. Herod, and, Herod tried him. Herod couldn't find any fault. The Sanhedrin, they tried him and they made it up and, and they couldn't really find him guilty. What is he doing here? There's saved and unsaved people here. You know what? If you're not really after the things of God, uh, by the way, you have to have the Holy Spirit anyway to really understand the Bible correctly or you have to be desiring God. And, and he will give you what you need in your heart. You know, and the Bible says, uh, uh, it's, it's Hebrews 4, 12. It, it is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of your heart. The word of God will speak to you about what you need. And these people, they, since they were hypocrites, not all of them, uh, the ones who were there for reasons of trying to find something on him, all right, with an evil heart, they're not going to get the spiritual message. Only the spiritual people are going to get it. Verse 15, oh, excuse me, let me finish verse 14. And delivered his goods to them. See, that's what I mean. Every one of us has things. Steve's got this radio thing down packed. I try to have this Bible thing down packed. Uh, somebody else has got something. Uh, we got a guy who works with juvenile. He's got juvenile down packed. He used to teach school. And, and uh, we, we thought, well, because he does school, he, he'd be more used to working with young people and so forth, you know. And, and everybody's got something going for him. Millie, Millie's all over the place doing all kinds of stuff, you know. And, uh, uh, I mean, tent meetings and there's all kinds of stuff. Amen. But we all got something going on. Now, because I'm a minister, I know what a bunch of ministry type people are doing and everything like that. But I, I want you all to see that. Verse 15. And the one he gave five talents. I'm glad I'm not a five talent guy. Really, I'm probably just a one talent guy. That five talent guy, when he gets to heaven, God's going to hold him accountable for all five of those talents. I, I enabled you. I gave you all these things. Later, later on, he'll say to his own ability, what he's talking about is, I gave you all these things. Did you develop them? Did you use them? Steve just knew radio before, but now he knows radio and streaming. All right. So he's adding to his five talents. Amen. You know, and, and uh, uh, you ought to be adding to yours. Amen. Now, when they go have church services and you, and you, you develop uh, relationships and friends with people, whether you're incarcerated or not, you ought to invite them to the services because you're going. Amen. Don't 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 beat them over there. Just say, hey, man, I'm, I'm going over here. You want to come with me, man? You might you just sit there and listen. You might get something out of it. It might it might make your time in jail go faster or prison or wherever you're at. Amen. You know, well, you're using your talents for spiritual. Bit. You're sitting over there reading your Bible and say, hey, somebody come over and won't talk to you something about something. And, well, well, I know the scriptures of that because I didn't read so much. I know where Jesus talks about that thing. Why don't we read it together and you can see what God's got to say about it. Use your talent to the glory and honor of God. Um, my son, he's a, uh, I got three sons, but the oldest one, he's a pastor of a church and so forth like that. Well, he also knows construction. All right. And I told him, don't be getting into that too much because people are always asking him to do stuff. And, 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 and he needs to stick to the, the word of God, prayer and the, and the ministry of the word. OK, and well, well, you know, but he's real good at it. He's real good at it. 
He knows how to do preaching, obviously. He knows how to do teaching in the Bible and other kind of teaching. And he knows that too. And he's got some other things going for him. Amen? Um, so, uh, but, but some people got five talents. To another he gave two and to another one. Watch this. To each according to his own ability. And immediately he went on the journey. And Jesus, we know, after 33 years, three years of ministry, he went back to heaven. Amen? What has uh, uh, all the believers, starting, starting with the apostles mainly, all right, and all the believers that came off of that for all of this 2,000 years we've been, been here, amen, to each according to his own ability. What were they supposed to do? Spread the word. Go you therefore and teach all nations. All nations. Amen. Teach all of them. Okay. By, by the way, like I said, just like I told you all about inviting somebody, if they want to, you know, don't sit up there and browbeat them and all this other stuff. Come on, man. Uh, no, I ain't interested. All right, have a good day. You know, that's the end of it. Amen. Go on with your bad self. Amen. So, so his ability and immediately went to a journey to a far country. Then he who had received the five talents went and traded with them. See, here's the wise investing. Here, here's, here's, here's using his stuff uh, correctly. Amen. Uh, we're about to have the uh, jail ministry banquet, and there's all kinds of people. Have, they're, they're not ministry people at all. They're just regular old Christian people that go to various different churches. They will come in and partner with us and make it so that we're able to do all this stuff. we got books all over the place that we give out, Bibles we give out. Man, we spend a lot of money on Bibles for this local jail that we do here. we got all kinds. And because those people took some of their talents... From what they do, secondly, plumbers, uh, carpenters, masons, uh, all kinds of stuff, store owners, it's all kinds, doctors, lawyers, all kinds of people. All right? Uh, not, not, not necessarily the big muckety mucks, but you got people down here, the low muckety mucks, amen? Or, or low people, amen? Working people, putting their money and their talents will be recognized by God, amen? So the five talent went, God went and traded with them and made another five talents, 17. And likewise, he who had the two gained two more. And then the end of this story, and this just this part, we'll do the rest of it in a second 15-minute video. But he who had received the one went and dug in the ground and hid his Lord's money. I had my one talent. I didn't go dig in the ground and hide my talent. I tried to put that thing to use, amen. Uh, uh, I've made some mistakes with it, and I've did this, that, and the other. But over the time, God has developed me and worked me and showed me how to do things, amen, the right way to get the blessing and everything like that. This isn't the end of the story by a long shot. This isn't the end of the story. This isn't the end of your story either. Amen. And uh, um, uh, you keep on going because, you know, he took that journey into the far country. You don't know what God's going to do with you. You don't know what he's going to do with you. I know a guy who got a doctorate in the Bible. He's got a life sentence. You, and, and he got it during the first uh, five or six years he was in uh, 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 prison, you know. And uh, so, so after, um, so there he hit his Lord's money. Verse 19, after a long time, the Lord of those servants came and settled accounts with them. One day you're going to either get raptured out of here or to be absent from the body, you're going to die. To be absent from the body, to be present with the Lord. All right. And you are going to give an account of what you did with whether he made you a five talent man, a two talent man or a one talent man. Don't, don't, don't think everybody, because they got one time, they're all going to dig in the earth and hide it. That's, that was evil what he did. They shouldn't did that. All right? Amen. So, 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 but understand something. You're going to give an account, because God gave you these abilities and talents. All right? All right? To use it to the glory and honor of them. So, by the way, just taking care of your family is part of it. Just taking care of your wife. Just teaching your children. Taking them to church. Reading the Bible with them. Praying with them. And teaching them. That's using your talents to the glory and honor of God. Those are the first people you ought to mess with. Then your extended family. Then your community. Just like I told you, these people are going to come to the banquet. And they're going to do that. You think to yourself, why are they doing that? They've never had anybody in jail or nothing like that. They understand the great commission. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. They said, well, I can't go over to India. I can't go to Saudi Arabia. I can't go to China. I can't go to North Korea. But I can go to Bell County. And that's what they're doing. And, and you know what? When they get to heaven, the angels in Revelation chapter 20, uh, verse 11 to 15, they're, they're writing down. The books were open and they're writing down. Who participated and who did not? They're, understand something. They make this much money and they're taking that much of that money and they're giving it to this thing. Well, that's, the, that's part one. We'll hear part two in a second. 
Now, if you're not saved, I want you to pray this prayer with me. The prayer don't save you. Believing in Jesus and his death on the cross that paid your sin debt. And then he resurrected on the third uh, uh, on the third day, like the Bible said he would. Victory over death. He took your unrighteousness and put it on him and put your robe of uh, uh, put, put his robe of righteousness on you. Father, thank you for your mercy and grace. I pray if there's anyone unsaved today, they would call on the name of Jesus, say, I believe, and they'd get saved. Thank you for this time. In Christ Jesus' name, amen.